Antoinette, they are. The Student Government Association says they will take a no confidence vote in Emerson College's president later today and call for him to resign. They say he failed them during yesterday morning's arrest. Police body camera video shows us the moments before police went into the encampment and pulled protesters from the alley. Boston police are defending their actions, saying protesters were given days of warnings, including in the hours leading up to the arrests. 108 protesters were arrested. Some appeared in court yesterday morning. More could appear later today. This morning, the Boylston Place Alley is clean and cleared of tents. Mayor Wu says she's watched some of the police video and says the encampment was removed due to safety concerns. The issue was just around fire hazards that were being created with the tents and um, the public health and safety uh, risks that were happening there as well. And so that was communicated over multiple days to school officials and from school officials to the organizers. Our encampment was very peaceful, very inclusive for all race, ethnicities, genders. We welcomed everyone. Um, we weren't obstructing any um, passageways. Emerson says counseling is available for anyone in the college community who needs it. We also haven't heard if plans for graduation will change at all here, but students say their protests here are not over. We have reached out to Emerson for more information. If they know how many exactly of the 108 arrests here were confirmed to be Emerson College students, and if they're going to ask that the charges against those students be dropped. We have not heard back from the college, though. We're live in Boston this morning. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5. Oh.